Hi guys, I'm Carolyn Scott Hamilton and welcome to another episode of The Healthy Voyager. This time I'm taking you for a taste of Thailand. Welcome to Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand where temples and skyscrapers collide. Being the most populous city in Thailand, the city is home to the Grand Palace, the royal family, and its many citizens enjoying its rich history and modern flair. The Riva Suraya is an idyllic urban getaway situated on the Chao Phraya River. Modern and elegant with a Thai twist, a stay at the Riva Suraya is second to none. Wonderful service, a gorgeous pool, and views of the river, plus a farm to table concept restaurant, you can't go wrong here. So I'm having my first breakfast here in Bangkok. It is absolutely picturesque. I've got this beautiful bridge and all the boats right here on the Chao Praia River that uh, is right next to, actually my hotel room overlooks the river here at the River Suraya. It is absolutely gorgeous. The weather is perfect, but I'm a lizard. I like it hot, so people come prepared for the humidity, but I love it. And uh, I'm dining on one of my favorite breakfasts, miso soup that's DIY. You can pour it, put whatever you want in it. I've got some wakame, I've got some tofu, I've got some scallions in it. I've got delicious coconut milk coffee latte. And uh, I'm getting four to five for this crazy day I have ahead of me in Bangkok. So uh, I'm going to eat up and then we're going to head out. I'm about to walk into the Grand Palace with uh, my tour guide, Tok. <laughs> Hi, Tok. So we are just crossing the street, about to head into the Grand Palace. Let's go. Spending time at the Grand Palace when in Bangkok is a must. Beautiful temples and getting to learn about Thailand's heritage in such a powerful setting is a moving experience. It's time for lunch. I just went to the Grand Palace and Wat Pho, and now I'm having a beautiful, obviously vegan lunch here at Sala Ratana, Rat, Rata Kosin. Ratana Kosin. Sala is located in the Uber Chic Boutique Hotel of the same name, and just a few minutes stroll from the Grand Palace. But they made me a lovely, beautiful vegan green curry and the setting couldn't be more beautiful. It's right across from this lovely temple. It's under construction, so I can't go check it out this time, but I will be back. And I'm just watching all the, the boats go by, and apparently they have a really beautiful upstairs lounge um, that opens at five, might come back for a cocktail, but they can veganize anything, and this green curry looks fantastic, so I'm gonna go eat some and then go check out some more of the sites. After a delicious lunch and break from the heat, it was time to head to the newer part of Bangkok for some more sightseeing. So I've just arrived at the Jim Thompson House uh, Museum. I'm about to take the tour, but I am already pretty excited because it is beautiful and it's in the center of the city. I will tell you a little bit more about the history uh, after I take the tour, but um, I believe 
um, I don't think he was American, but uh, built this house and kind of disappeared. But uh, it looks pretty incredible and I'm excited to take the tour and I'll tell you more about it afterwards. The Jim Thompson House is a gorgeous example of a traditional Thai home mixed with Western elegance. Now a museum, it's a wonderful place to learn about Thai culture as well as peek into the life of a mysterious man who is an integral character in Thailand's textile industry. So I'm here in one of the main shopping sections um, in kind of the backpackers district. So I came to get a couple pairs of flouncy pants because this heat will get you and these flouncy pants are really good. But uh, yeah, it's all kinds of street vendors and food and craziness and it's super busy. And uh, I'm gonna get some stuff and then head out on my tuk-tuk ride. evening now in Bangkok and I'm about to take a tuk-tuk ride with uh, my pal Tak and we're going to go to Chinatown and see the city all lit up since we are going around all day today uh, walking and seeing the palaces and stuff but now we're gonna head around uh, and see some fun stuff tuk-tuk style. Come on, let's go! You can't leave Bangkok without taking a tuk-tuk ride. It's a great way to see the city and easy to hop on and off and see historic sites, night markets, and it zips you through the notorious Bangkok traffic. So after a long day and uh, checking out the sites, we've come to kind of the more modern side of town and we came to May Veggie Home, which is an all vegan restaurant. And of course they have vegan versions of all kinds of delicious Thai food, um, sweet and sour, I'm having a vegan pad thai with vegan shrimp. Um, there's vegan ice cream to be had, so uh, I'm gonna start stuffing my face. Dinner at May Veggie Home was great, but it was my farewell meal before heading off on another adventure. Well, it is time for me to say goodbye to Bangkok. There is still so much of Thailand left to see, so stay tuned and join me on the next Taste of Thailand chapter on The Healthy Voyager. Bye!